Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Hopefully you can hear me over the dogs barking in the back there. But yeah, I just figured I would do a recap for this video of my day at Goat Fest on September 28th, 2024. So for me, that was a couple days ago. Depends on when you watch this. Anyways, yeah, it was a great time. Uh, absolutely astonishing uh, festival. Like the, the vendors, the music, everything. It just blew me away. It's only been going for two years. Uh, Ginger Goat uh, Hot Sauce Company puts it on. And it's just it's absolutely amazing. Like He does an amazing job with everything he does there. His team is great. They had it flowed properly. And coming from someone who's done festival events, run them and everything else, they did an amazing job. And it was just so well oiled machine. So I had to uh, cut out there. I had some noise coming there. Anyways, so I'm going to show you uh, little snippets from the event. Uh, first off, we have one of the bands that was playing. Um, I'm drawing a blank on their name right now, but I'll put it up on the screen for you. Only caught a snippet of their uh, performance on camera, but here you go. The feeling's gone. So these are some of the vendors that were there. Um, I'm gonna put a list up here of the vendors I know, a list here of the vendors I just found out about, and maybe I'll flash up a few pictures of some of the sauces I bought. Or you can just check me out on TikTok. Yeah, that's what you should do. Go check out my TikTok. I'll put a link on here, and you can see the videos I've done for that on what I'm gonna be doing on this channel. So, kind of crossing. Might be on Instagram too, so I'll put that up there too. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Which I'm sure you figured that one out by now if you've watched my channel. <laughs> but yeah, there was uh, amazing vendors there. So yeah, uh, here's the information. You can see it. Some great sauces. I also, oh, sorry, allergies. Uh, <laughs> ran into Aaron from Monster Heat. Well, actually, he kind of ran into me there. Uh, it was a bit of a shock, but. Hey Aaron, thanks for uh, saying hi and it's good to see you. But there was lots of people who got the chance to meet Ed Curry. Uh, really nice guy, uh, really down to earth. He, he likes to chat, which not a problem, but someone in his position usually gets used to doing that. So, but yeah, it's uh, it was really good to meet him and bought one of his sauces. I'm not telling you which one, but well, bought one of his sauces. I'm sure you'll see in a second from the picture I'm about to post. See, they, you saw the bottle, whether you saw the sauce, I don't know. But anyways, yeah. So let's see what else happened at the event. So they drink water, they are done. And then you know, the first one to finish is gonna get some swag, maybe a little bit of sauce. Everybody's gonna get a bellyache. They gotta eat the whole pizza. Yeah, if you guys want. So we're gonna let them get a little bit of moisture in their mouth. We're gonna let them work out some of these nerves. We have a guy up here saying his tolerance is way down. He'll be way up by the end of this. All right, everyone's got their water in. Show these people your pizzas. How delicious and spicy they look. All right, you guys ready? You guys on the table ready? You guys out there ready? Let's give them some round of applause. On the count of three, two, one, eat. <laughs> Carolina Reaper is it doesn't start right away. It is a delicious, delicious pepper. 
as they're doing a couple different techniques. They're stacking their stuff. They're stuffing it in their faces. But something tells me right about now, they're going, mmm, this pizza is delicious. And right in the back of your throat, in the back of their throats, they're getting a little tickled. They're getting a little warm. Am I describing this right? Heck yeah. Oh, we got faces being made. We got sweat under the eyes. Am I seeing any dilated pupils yet? Not yet. We'll get there. I love seeing the techniques. We got the slow and steady. We got the competitive pizza stacker. There's a little bit of a shape happening here. How we doing on this side? Oh man, you guys got some work to do if you're gonna beat this guy over here. He's swinging, he's making faces. The smell that is coming off of these peppers is just insane right now. Come on guys, give him some encouragement. For those of you who haven't done this before, this is the world's hottest pepper, or was the world's hottest pepper, and we did not hold back. You guys are gonna use there's a bucket right there that's full and those people are not gonna be happy with you. We're still smiling up here. We're slowing down, maybe a couple of hiccups going on on the end. Come on guys, let them know what's up. starting to kick in. You said the first challenge wasn't that hot. How's this? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll find you. Uh, and it's a tough challenge because not only are we giving them heat, they're eating a whole spicy, delicious pizza from our friends at Saucy Bees. Let's give Saucy Bees a round of applause. One guy down in the crust over here. How are we doing on the other end? We got people panting a little bit. He came up here looking all calm and collected. We're tapping out. We got our first tap out. Give him a round of applause. Now boo this man! Us Canadians are so polite. We got some tears. Just a little bit of tears happening under the eyes here. Be careful around your face. We're down the crust over here. I think it's a tighter race between over here and over here. Oh, we only got a couple pieces left over here, guys. Give them a round of applause. Woo! Now, for any of you who do eat something that's too spicy, we also want to give a shout out to our friends from Milk. Milk is giving free milk to everybody that's just around the corner there. So if you know a little bit of pepper belly, you all had a little bit of pepper belly. You can go over there and they'll cool you down with some delicious, cold, refreshing milk. We got one more. One more bite. One more bite over here. Slow and steady. This challenge, everybody wins, but nobody wins at the same time. There it is. Thank you guys so much. We're going to be back with another spicy challenge later this evening. Stick around. We got fans. Pepper and Orbax are coming back with the Monsters of Sloth show later. If there's kids here, we still have a kid zone outside. Give some love to your vendors. Buy some hot sauce. Buy some beer. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Now we've got the main event that was going on. This is the World, world record attempt to eat the most Carolina Reaper pods in a set amount of time. If you know Mike eats the heat, this is who it is. I met him a few years ago at Heat Wave in London, Ontario, and really nice guy, great uh, sport, everything else. So his challenge was to eat 25 Carolina Reaper pods in, I think his goal was three minutes. Um, Watch and see how it turned out, because I'm not going to tell you till you watch. 
it's time to get spicy again. But this time there's no crowd participation. For those of you guys in the hot sauce world, this man up here does not need an introduction. His name is Mike Jack, multiple Guinness World Record holder for eating some of the spiciest things on the planet Earth and consuming some of the highest volumes of spiciest things on the face of the Earth. Let's hear it up. Because you guys saw how bad those people hurt earlier eating the pizzas. What this guy's going to do is a lot crazier. So we are going after an official Guinness World Record today. And that record is for eating Carolina Reapers. So in order to have a Guinness World Record and be officially called amazing, there's some things that are involved. We have to weigh the peppers, we have some adjudicators, we have accountants, we have some timekeepers. There's a lot that goes into making this happen. So you guys here are in for a little treat because Mike is going to go for how many Reapers? Uh, fastest time to eat 25 Carolina Reaper peppers. Which is crazy. So those guys that were eating the pizza just had a little bit of Reaper. Mike's going to go for 25 full pods for you here. So in order to do it, we have our timekeepers, or sorry, we have our adjudicators, we have our timekeeper over here. But if we're doing a Carolina Reaper challenge, who better to help keep time from the guy that invented the Carolina Reaper. Can we get Smoke and Ed to the stage? Good, good. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Ed is also a multiple Guinness World Record holder. The Carolina Reaper, up until recently, was the world's hottest pepper, ranking in somewhere around 1.2 to 1.3 million Scoville units. For those of you on a I'm initiated with peppers. Jalapenos are around three to five, maybe eight thousand Scoville units. So what Mike is eating is crazy. Now, not only does Ed have a record for the Reaper, he wasn't done yet and eclipsed it with 2.6 million Scoville heat units and a new pe pepper called Pepper X. We don't eat that many of those <laughs> yet. <laughs> so, Mike, are you ready? How about this? Go Fest, are you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna get going. We got a couple official things to do. We're gonna get started in about 30 seconds here. This plate of Reapers that is in front of Mike are exceptionally big. They come from Spruce Ridge Farms, which is a farm here in Ontario. These Reapers are big and mean and nasty, and I feel bad because I picked them out. <laughs> so this plate of Reapers, compared to what a normal plate of Reapers would be, is about 84 grams heavier than what this should be. And for that, I'm sorry, but Mike's still a champ, and that's why he's here for you guys. He's gonna attempt it anyway. Let's give him a big round of applause. All right, we're on this man here. He's gonna give us the go and we're gonna count down. Getting into Zen space, doing the mouth prep because chewing this many peppers is not easy. Not only from a heat perspective, but eating that fast is not easy. So we're going for a time of just over three minutes. Mike's getting into his zen zone. The anticipation is palpable. The crowd is ready. The crocs are being kicked.
Three, two, one, go! Come on guys, let's give it up for this man. This is a big challenge. I can't give you one gram of reaper after this. Come on Mike, let's go. You got it Mike, come on! You have the tough skin, the, the oil, you've got the seeds. This is not, not easy. And again, the excruciating amount of heat that Mike is feeling right now is just outdone by how tough these peppers are to chew. You're doing great. Eating 25 of anything in this amount of time is no small feat. You just hit one minute. You just hit one minute. He's on a great pace here. Let's keep going. I know you guys are out there, but the smell up here just coming from those reapers right now is something else, let me tell you. If anyone's wondering what Mike's got on the table right now, it's a picture of Terry Fox with the letters, no matter what. Terry Fox is one of his idols. And Mike's trying to do this no matter what for you guys here at Goat Fest. You need to be louder than this. We've just hit two minutes. There's only 10 more left on the plate. Come on guys, give it up for Mike. You got it, Mike. Jamie, his coach here, is giving him instructions, making sure he's doing what he needs to do to be able to get this done. He is making great time. Cabell over here is almost feeling it as a timekeeper, too. Yeah, Ed's backing up a little. We're at 245, guys. 245. Keep Mike. those chants coming. Let's go, Cheer Mike. This man on. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. He's in the home stretch, guys. Keep it coming. Let's Show this man some love. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, You got this. We're down. He's got one in his hand, four on the plate. Five peppers left. Come on, Mike. You can do it. You can see the strategy of squish, chew, eat, and even his fingers. I've had to do bobbing for Carolina Reapers before, and my face is on fire. His fingers must be feeling it right now. We're down to three. Keep this going for the last three peppers. I don't want to hear you guys quiet down. I want to hear you keep going. Mike, 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 One more small. Come on, Mike! The amazing yeah. work ladies and gentlemen! They're talking and comparing times. 
again, that was 84 more grams as to what that would normally be. And today, Mike Jack did that for you guys. Normally this is where I would check in to be able to see how Mike is doing, but I know how Mike is doing right now. Just clearing out the oils. What? We we have an official time for you guys. What do you think? For an extremely big amount of Carolina Reapers, and 25 of them was four minutes and 426 or 436.26. 436.26. 25 Reapers. Let's give it up for Mike, guys. That time is going to be submitted for an official Guinness World Record. So we're going to fill out some of the documentation. You guys could have witnessed history here today. One more time for Mike. Woo! Way to go, Mike! Alright, so the party is just getting going, guys. I know some of you have been here all day. There's plenty of hot sauce to be tasted. Plenty of... So as you can see, he managed to do it. It was a little longer than he thought he was going to take, but I believe he still set a world record for that one. Uh, and you can see by just the energy of the crowd and everything else, it was people loved being there. Uh, the vendors were absolutely amazing, and the great sports about everything. They were welcoming, great conversations as usual with most vendors and most events. But yeah, so not sure what else to tell you about it, but. If you're in the area next year, Kitchener, Ontario, get your tickets early. Go check it out. It's well worth it. It's only going to get better every year. But anyways, enjoy the heat. Stay spicy. We'll see you next time and take care.